What is a scaphoid fracture and how does it happen? In this video, we will discuss in detail the scaphoid fracture in the wrist, one of the most common injuries that can greatly affect hand movement and the ability to perform daily activities. The scaphoid bone is one of the small bones in the wrist area that plays an important role in hand movement and wrist stability. How does the fracture occur? A scaphoid fracture usually occurs as a result of falling onto an outstretched hand, such as when trying to stop a fall with the hand. This type of fracture is common in athletes, especially in sports that require a lot of balance such as cycling or skiing. In some cases, the injured person may not feel severe pain immediately, which leads to delayed diagnosis and treatment. What is the problem with the scaphoid bone? First, the fracture may not appear in the first two weeks in the normal x-rays, so we make a plaster splint and repeat the imaging after two weeks, and we may do a CT scan or MRI second. The blood supply to the scaphoid bone is poor, so the rates of non-healing of the fracture are high and atrophy may occur in it. Common symptoms of a scaphoid fracture. Pain in the wrist area, especially when moving the wrist. Swelling around the base of the thumb. Pain when pressing on the wrist area. Difficulty holding things or moving the wrist normally. How to diagnose a scaphoid fracture. If a fracture is suspected, it is necessary to visit a doctor. The doctor will carefully examine the hand and wrist, and if necessary, X-rays or MRI are performed to confirm the presence of the fracture and determine its severity. Available treatment options. Treatment varies depending on the location of the fracture and the extent of the bone's movement. Options may include immobilization with a splint. If the fracture is simple, it can be treated with a splint for six to 12 weeks. During this period, the patient should avoid moving the wrist or putting any pressure on it. Surgery. In some cases where the fracture is mobile or in a sensitive area of the bone, the patient may need surgical intervention to stabilize the bone using screws or braces. What are the complications of delayed treatment? Delaying treatment of a scaphoid fracture can lead to serious problems such as fracture failure. The bone does not heal properly, requiring additional surgery. Carpal osteoarthritis. This may develop over time if the fracture is not treated properly. Prevention and recovery. Fall prevention. Being careful with sports activities and wearing appropriate protection can help reduce the risk of injury. Post-treatment rehabilitation. After the splint is removed or the patient recovers from surgery, the patient may need physical therapy sessions to restore wrist movement and strengthen the surrounding muscles. In conclusion, a scaphoid fracture is an injury that may seem simple but requires accurate diagnosis and treatment to ensure full recovery and prevent complications. If you have suffered a fall or are experiencing wrist pain, do not hesitate to consult a doctor to get the necessary care.